All right, everybody, listen up. During the Future Games show at Gamescom from earlier this year, around June, we saw something called Project Ferocious. And to be honest, the code name itself, I think, was good enough to keep for this thing. Project Ferocious was a first-person survival game set on an island inhabited by prehistory creatures like, such as dinosaurs. I think the real madness came to my mind when I realized this game is being developed by a single person. Anyway, I just realized there's a new trailer for this game in town, so I thought I'll let you in on it as well at the same time, reacting on it as always. So this is enough talking, we've already waited long enough, let's just check it out first. Please. Mighty fine to me. I don't know about you guys. As opposed to being developed by a single person. You can kind of see this, that it's still a little bit rough around the edges. What did it say? Alright, let's be honest. Graphically, it looks fine, right? But this game has a long way to go. As you've seen in the trailer, it's a little rough around the edges, but I think it was not bad. But that was a good trailer they came up with. They knew exactly what they're doing with it. Project Ferocious will feature a completely interactive and partially destructible vegetation. That's why I said, wait a minute, because I saw he actually blew up a tree. That's not nothing. The player can swim and dive in waters. There's even a dynamic weather system in this game. That's cool. In addition, the game promises to feature a wide arsenal of weapons and tools to survive. Moreover, the player can explore the island by rappling steep cliffs and discovering underwater caves and try to hide as a survival method. I gotta give it to them, it's also got a good premise to go with. Anyway, this game right now at this point has a Steam page only that is targeting a 2023 release date at its earliest. And I believe it's only hitting PCs for now, as opposed to if it'll ever land on any platforms. That didn't let down, to be honest. I liked it. I'm actually looking forward to see how this will turn out, especially in the coming months, because if it is being developed by a single developer, he just needs to make sure that people know that it's alive. Well, anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Consider subscribing if you want to see more announcement videos like this one. And if you want to see more, uh, make sure to click on either one of these if you like. In the meantime, take care, and I'll see you guys again pretty soon. Peace.